The Notify icon is a useful control for displaying an icon in the system tray. The system tray is located on the Windows taskbar next to the clock. When the user clicks on the icon, you can write code that responds to that event or, as I'm doing here, display a context menu. Now this could be especially useful for applications that will run as Windows services or applications that are intended to run all the time, like a monitoring application, and you want to reduce the footprint of that application within the user's environment. So to demonstrate the use of the Notify Icon control, I've created a simple application called NotifyIcon.cs. It has a single form. And as I was getting started, I found the Notify Icon here within the toolbox and dragged it to the designer surface. You can see that the Notify Icon uh, then creates an instance of this within your, uh, your designer tray. I've also added a context menu strip with show form and hide form. One of the first things that I did was configure the sample notify icon by setting the context menu strip to our sample context menu strip instance and then setting the initial icon that would be displayed within the system tray. Here I can select an icon from the file system or I can also select a file from the resources of my application. We'll demonstrate how to do that in just a moment. As you can see, my application has three buttons. Let's go ahead and run the application again. The first button will hide the form so that you can only see the notify icon in the tray. To get the form back, we would simply right click and select show form. We could also right click our notify icon and select hide form. And we can also, I believe, double click and handle that event within our notify icon to display our form as well. I can apply a new icon in the system tray so you can see it changed my icon from the MSDN logo to a simple computer screen logo. And then I can reload the old icon back into the system tray. And this might be used to demonstrate different states of your application. So let's see what we did in order to enable some of this functionality within our code. So let's take a look at some of our code. First thing that we'll do uh, is take a look at the form load event. And here I'm just grabbing a uh, reference to the current icon within my notify icon control. Um, so you can see here that I've created a private member variable called old icon of type icon. So we'll hold on to this, and what we'll use this for is to demonstrate how we can switch back and forth between the new icon and the old icon. In our hide form button, we're merely hiding the form. So we're going to call the hide method of the form. This refers to the current class, which is the form itself. Next, whenever we call the apply new icon button, notice that we're setting the icon property of our notify icon control equal to the properties.resources.app2. So we have another uh, file within our application called app2.icon and I needed to add that to my resources. So I double clicked on the property icon within uh, the solution explorer which brings up the properties for my application and I've selected the resources tab on the left and switched to icons at the very top and then dragged the app2.ico file into uh, the main area for my resources tab. And when I did that, you'll notice that we're now able to access that icon, a stream containing that icon, by using the properties.resources class. And this is similar to how we've been using the properties.resources class throughout all the videos in this series. Next, let's take a look at the load old icon. So you recall that earlier in the form load, we saved a reference to the current icon so that if we ever change the icon, we could get back to the original icon. So this contains a reference to the old icon, which we're setting our icon property for our notify icon control. Remember that we also double clicked our uh, little icon in the system tray so let's take a look at the notify icon underscore mouse double click event 
again working with this referring to the to the form and we're calling the show method also recall that we worked with our context menu strip it has a show form and a hide form menu item and so here all we did was set show and hide respectively for those menu items within their uh, respective click events for those menu items so as you can see the usage of this control is fairly simple it used to require quite a bit of effort to create a, uh, a little notification icon within the system tray and Microsoft has made it very easy for us now enabling that functionality by setting just a few properties and writing one or two lines of code